In this lab, we're going to manage IPv4 and IPv6 addressing. We're going to configure the network to use an ISOTAP router. Basically, an ISOTAP router is a bridge over technology that enables IPv4 networks and devices to communicate with more evolved IPv6 only counterparts. So, a Windows computer could function as a secondary router by configuring a secondary network card. So we'll go over to our Windows 8 box to perform this function. Let's start an instance of PowerShell by hitting the start button then type PowerShell in. We'll go ahead and set up our network interface with the net sh command. And that's set up. And let's configure the DNS right now. We're going to use the netsh command again. All set. Next, we're going to do an IP config front slash all. We're going to verify adapter 2, that's what we just added. Our IPv4 address is dot 50, subnet mask 255.0. And our DNS servers 192.168.0.1. Our next task is to move over to PLAB DM01 to configure a static address in a second network interface. So let's move on to our PLAB DM01 machine. We'll go ahead and open PowerShell as administrator. And we're going to be using the netsh tool again. We just need to change the directory here. That's done. Next, we're going to move on to PLAB SA to configure a secondary network address on its interface. We'll open PowerShell as administrator and follow the same process. That's 
The next thing we're going to do on Plab SA is to enable IP routing. We're going to open up the registry. So we're going to H key local machine system current control set services scrolling down to CCP IP expand parameters let's select IP enable router right mouse click modify we're going to change this value to 1 click OK let's shut down the registry editor and we're gonna shut down this machine let's go ahead and reconnect to Plab SA open PowerShell as administrator. Let's do a IP config all. Notice Plab SA01 and notice IP routing enabled. The next thing we're going to do is to disable IPv6 on the domain server. So let's move over to our domain member. go to network and sharing center go to the properties of Ethernet 2 we're simply gonna uncheck IPv6 click OK and close Let's head over to our Windows 8 box and open up Network and Sharing Center. We're going to go to the properties of Ethernet 2 and we're going to disable IPv4 on this box. Click OK and close. Next, let's verify the IPv6 address on our Windows 8 box. Let's do IP config and we see here this is our Ethernet 2. The address we're looking for is the FE address and there you have it. Link local IPv6 address. Let's go back to our Plab SA box and what we're going to do now is configure the IPv6 router advertisement for global address 2001 on our Plab SA box. Working from PowerShell, we're going to use NetSH again. There you have it. This next command net sh interface ipv6 add route 2001 is going to configure that particular address. So 
LabSA has the 2001 address. If we go to our Windows 8 box, which I've already ran the IP config, you can see here Ethernet adapter 2. It also has a 2001 address. We're now going to set up connectivity between IPv4 and IPv6 devices. Our first task is to add PlabSA to the practicelabs.com domain. Let's move back to our PlabSA machine. Go back into PowerShell. Doing some copy and pasting this time. <laughs> Let's add the computer. All right, our computer has been added to the practicelabs.com domain. We just need to restart the computer. Let's send out the shutdown command. Let's switch over to our domain controller. We're going to add the host records of PlabSA to this account. Go to Tools, DNS, Expand Practice, Forward Lookup Zones, Practice. Let's right mouse click, select New A Record. Host name is going to be ISATAP, simply. And this will be our IP address. Add host, click OK. I've already added our second IP address and add host. We'll click OK again and done. Let's close out of the DNS. Let's head back to our PLAB standalone device. Let's reconnect. We now see that PlabSA is part of the practicelabs.com domain. Let's go back to Windows PowerShell as administrator. That sh command. There you have it. The isotap routers. Let's do a IP config to verify. And here we could see the terminal adapter isotap is set up. Let's copy this information here. Let's put in this next command.
So now it's enabled our ISATAP router. Send out the shutdown command. Okay, let's open up PowerShell as administrator. Run the IP config command to verify. And what we're looking for is the tunnel adapter ISATAP. And we could see the link local address is a FE address for IPv. Let's do a CD here. And at SH interface ISATAP. Fig. Just to verify that our IP address took, which is 192.168-0. So let's set the firewall rules to allow PlabDM to connect with Win8. Let's go back to our PlabDM box. PlabDM. Click on the start charm, type Windows Firewall. Let's open that up. Let's click on inbound rules. Let's go down to file and printer sharing echo request ICMP 4N. Go to properties. Confirm the rule is enabled. And the same thing for ICMP v6, which the green check mark indicates that the rule is enabled on this one as well. We're back at our Windows 8 box and we're going to verify the connectivity between the IPv4 OLE and IPv6 devices on the network. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to run a uh, ping command from our Windows 8 box to our domain controller. So let's do it. Okay. And notice that the domain member is responding back with the 2001 ISATAP router address. So both our networks do indeed have connectivity. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.